Hello, and thank you for joining us for the third and final episode in our on-demand delivery for retail series. In episode one, we looked at the need for on-demand delivery and why this is not an option, but rather an imperative for retailers today. Episode two saw us get stuck into the detail, discussing the key considerations needed as you embark on your on-demand delivery journey. That brings us now to episode three, where we'll discuss and take a look at uncovering the opportunities that on-demand delivery can bring and how to maximize this potential for your business. Once again, it's a pleasure to be joined here at Ship at HQ by our Head of Product, Jordan Shamir, and Head of Uber Direct for ANZ, Ben Goodger. Jordan and Ben, episode three, we made it. Thanks for coming back, guys. Thanks for having us again. It's good to be back. Over the series, we've touched on and spoken a lot about shoppers, uh, and the distinct value that on-demand delivery brings is all but a given. Though, what considerations are there for retailers to really make the most of the offering and the value it gives? As I mentioned in episode one, in this 2018 study, the halo effect, how bricks impact clicks, retailers were seeing up to a 37% increase in online traffic from opening a new retail, uh, retail location. What this means is that offering new delivery options and new e-commerce options to your consumers doesn't take away from your full traffic. And what consumers are really wanting is choice in delivery options, the ability to click and collect, the ability to come in store and purchase and consult with an in-store staff member. This is the same customer purchasing across multiple channels. Thanks, Ben. And, um, and so Jordan, what are some of the examples of how on-demand delivery can pave the way for increased profitability? Look, from a, from a merchant's perspective in terms of profitability, um, it's beyond simply the transaction. It comes down to the lifetime value of the customer uh, versus the cost to acquire that customer. That is easy to do, uh, easy to solve for. The unit economics make sense uh, where experience is, is elevated. Obviously, we all want to have positive experiences uh, with the brands we love and with the goods we buy, regardless of whether they are uh, in-store experiences or uh, experiences online. Merchants can elevate online delivery to a medium or high uh, basket at checkout. Um, but more broadly speaking, I think it's about giving the end consumer what they want, giving them optionality at checkout. Um, whether it's same day, next day, click and collect, or whether it's an on-demand delivery, um, whatever the customer wants um, is the right thing to offer with, with the settings, the commercial settings that obviously make sense. The only other thing I'd say, Jay, is there's obviously uh, the opportunity to upsell and increase average basket size for a given customer. Um, On-demand delivery is a great hook. It's a, it's a great value add um, to encourage the customer to add um, a minimum order value into their cart before they check out. Um, like I mentioned before, it ultimately comes down to the cost of acquiring a customer versus the lifetime value of that customer. And the most sophisticated, the most switched on merchants are thinking about how they sell their products and service beyond just one transaction. They're thinking about it over the lifetime value of that customer. And where experience is, is, uh, where experience is held high, our customers will be, will be loyal. And that's ultimately how customers of ours can build brand loyalty. Ben, can you run us through ways retailers can untap extra value through clear and clever marketing? When it comes to marketing, your on-demand offer as a, as a retailer or merchant, um, being a digital channel, you've got your, um, your typical options available to you across performance marketing, brand marketing, might be an EDM. Um, what we've found as a really effective lever to drive repeat usage is um, offering free on-demand delivery in certain circumstances, whether that might be as a, a voucher or incentive within a newsletter. Um, additionally, one thing that we have seen work really well for some of the retailers that we work with is bringing the Uber brand into that experience and people are familiar with the Uber Eats experience and so um, when you work with Direct, you're able to sort of also bring the brand together and into that checkout experience, whether that be through um, delivered with Uber as a, as a checkout option or a banner on the website. Thanks Ben. Uh, so Jordan, I think it's it's fair to say the on-demand revolution is undoubtedly here and, and the discussion across our three episodes and even as we're preparing to film this keeps coming back to the customer and their need. This is a crucial point to circle back on in terms of best practice and realising the opportunity for on-demand delivery, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So the opportunity is very much here. Um, on the Shiba platform over the past 12 months, we've seen a 240% increase in on-demand deliveries. Um, and it comes down to experience. It comes down to doing the right thing uh, by your customers. As I mentioned in the previous episode, um, it's not just about the customer experience when they're in store, um, when they're uh, on a brand's website or in a checkout. The delivery experience is an equally, if not more impactful part of the, the customer buying journey. Um, and with on-demand delivery, 
Um, with Uber, we have so many options as, as retailers to be intelligent around how we elevate that experience. So that's it. That's the final episode. And it's clear to say that the on-demand revolution is clearly here. Shipping from store and on-demand delivery is no longer an option, but it's rather a necessity for retailers today. Jordan and Ben, thank you so much for your time. Before we finish up, are there any parting final thoughts that you'd like to share? Well, I think it's a, it's a very exciting time to be working in retail and e-commerce. And I think the proposition that we're bringing to market between Ship and Uber is a really exciting one for uh, both retailers and consumers. Absolutely, it's, it's a great way to delight your, your customers. It's a great way to, to create a, a fantastic delivery experience. And um, brands can definitely uh, make this work uh, commercially for themselves um, by being intelligent around how they roll out uh, on-demand delivery. Um, and yeah, like it's an exciting time to be in the space.